Kingdom of Birth is a, uh, a play by Tennessee Williams that opened in 1968. Uh, this was a play that I, I think was a 21st century play that opened too soon and uh, was very misunderstood. It's an incredible story about uh, two brothers who uh, are fighting over a piece of land and the woman that comes between them. And who is this woman? You mean who is this lady? This lady is my wife. All uh, is played against uh, the coming of a flood and the, the incredible danger and the promise of a new life. Is this the reason you married me, baby? And brought me down here? I married and brought you down here to own a place your own and be a lady. So it is a, a play that is immediate in the moment. It speaks to the South of 1968. It speaks to the South of today and it uh, harkens back to uh, the Bible and uh, the great mythic stories of our culture. Your folks back in Mobile were so ignorant, low class, they filtered your mind with ideas that you'd be poisoned by having relations with somebody with color blood in them. The set design is uh, sort of inspired by the idea of the ark. The flood that is coming is like Noah's flood. It's going to wash away everything that was before and a new civilization is going to rise up. The reason it is evocative of an ark is because of uh, all the biblical imagery in the story. We have this glossy, glossy floor uh, which the house slash ark slash deck stands on stilts and um, everything is sort of drowning in it and we have this water wall uh, behind the ark where a ton of water is pouring down and it's sort of the, the fourth character, the fourth element of um, nature of water which is threatening the little people on this little lonely island. This play uh, was a very nice handshake to, to, to me and my style of music because um, I, I play the guitar and uh, there's one reference in the, in the play where Myrtle and Chicken refer to the guitar as a man-sized instrument. Don't you like the main <laughs> The more I read the play, the more I thought about it. Um, it seemed to me that I could not try to create different layers of a real world, like say, um, wind blowing. I, f I figured what I'd do is just take one thing and, it, and, and, and amplify it. I took creaky doors that creak when they open. I slowed down that sound and I pitched it different. I pitched it really, really low. So instead of getting e, I got kind of thing. When I saw Myrtle coming down the steps, I kind of thought that was an ideal time to actually put that in. Everybody thinks they know Tennessee Williams. They've seen Glass Menagerie, they've seen Streetcar Named Desire, they've seen Cat in a Hot Tin Roof. They haven't seen Tennessee Williams like this. This is totally different and it's going to shock and surprise and really thrill a lot of people. I'm a warm-natured woman, you might say passionate even. I went to a Memphis doctor who prescribed me a bottle of pills to keep down the heat in my nature, but those pills don't work. <laughs>